Hi guys, this is Ashley back with another video. Before we get into the video, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Make sure to turn on post notifications. We're about to get into a few different topics. Um, so Nicki Minaj gets a shout out from two icons. Okay. So first, you know, um, Brock, the former president, um, says that, you know, um, Princess Diana by Nikki and Ice Spice um, is on his summer playlist. Um, he also shouts out SZA for Snooze. I was looking, I was like, I didn't see put it in the trash anywhere on this list. But then again, I wasn't really shocked. But I think maybe like in 2022, he might have put low energy on his playlist. And I feel like when it comes to Brock, no shade. I feel like he picks the most popular songs to put on his playlist. Whatever is, you know, charting at the time. Because I remember he put, I think it was low energy um, on his playlist. And then I think he also put Break My Hole on his playlist um, for the summer. And, you know, that was a nice record. But Break My Hole wasn't that great, in my opinion. Okay. One of the worst songs on Renaissance. Just in my opinion. No shade. But congratulations to Nikki and Ice. Um, this is a good look for them. And then also Issa Rae um, talks about Nikki and Megan and Ice Spice. Who would sing slash rap the theme song to my life? Obviously know. you. You. Yeah. Because obviously we know yeah. you. You. That's, I feel like you guys are convincing me of that fact, but Wait, I'm not a good rapper. Okay, can I, can we guess who what? you're going to say? Uh, yes, you can guess right now, because there's a like person right now. Like, you go to pick someone, are they right now? alive? They're alive. They're popping. Ice Spice. No. America, no. <laughs> Actually, I already know that it would have been a no. I would say America. Nicki Minaj. That's a good choice. Cardi I wouldn't B. be mad Cardi if she B. did it. Cardi no. B. Megan Thee Stallion? Yes! Ah! I mean, I'm not shocked that she said no to Ice Spice and um, Cardi B. No shade, but Ice and Cardi. Um, not the most talented, if we're keeping it real. She said she wouldn't be mad if Nicki rapped, you know, the theme song to her life. Okay. Um, but she really wants Megan Thee Stallion. What kind of confused me, she said the artist was popping. Megan ain't popping. Where is Megan popping? At the courthouse? I mean, she hasn't had a hit in what? Years. I mean, her last big hit was WAP. That's why they named Nikki and um, Ice Spice because she said the artist was popping. I'm like, Cardi B ain't popping. She didn't name her. But Megan Thee Stallion definitely ain't popping. So I was very confused when she said the person's popping and I was like, Megan hasn't had a hit in years. We still stuck in like, what, 2017, 2019 when she was popping. So I was definitely confused by that. But anyway, Doja Cat blocks a fan um, because they were talking trash about her boy toy, um, Jay Cyrus, the racist and P word in our word, allegedly. Um, allegedly he talks to minors when he does his streams on Twitch and allegedly he has taken advantage of a few of his fans. Okay. That were minors, according to, you know, one of Doja Cat's fans on social media and Doja Cat end up blocking the girl. And so she is getting dragged on social media. Okay. Um, because people are calling her out for being with this guy who allegedly, I guess, takes advantage of minors. Now, am I shocked? No. When Doja Cat is getting the white peen, she don't care. She really don't care. I don't understand why y'all be shocked by Doja Cat's actions. I'm never shocked. This is typical Doja Cat not giving an F about her fans. And she probably really upset that the attention flopped. And so she definitely going to be blocking y'all. But let me know how you guys feel about the situation. Who is in the right and who is in the wrong. Now, Ice Spice is throwing shots at Scratch Off and Cardi B in her new EP, Deluxe. Um, and Butterfly Koo, she said, I don't care if B-words don't like me, but the hustle you got to respect. Where she at on the floor? She getting money, but I'm getting more. 
Okay, so that's definitely a shot at Scratch Off because remember, Scratch Off had that song, put it in the trash, aka put it on the floor, taking weak shots at Nikki and um, Ice Spice. Okay, um, so she's saying that Scratch Off's career is on the floor. You might be getting some money, but she is getting more. That is basically what she's saying. And then she said, Ishing on B words, no pony. Then she also says, I'm a player, you know, I'm a score. First they was hating, now I'm on the board, okay? So um, she basically saying that y'all was hating on her, but now she is leading the pack when it comes to top 10s in 2023. I think she got four top 10s in 2023. She talking that stat talk. Then in Delhi, she said, taking her spot. If you ain't cooking, then get off the pot. Which to me is a sneak diss at Cardi B. And she's also paying homage to Nicki Minaj. Nicki says in Roman Revenge, Nicki, she just mad because you took the spot. Where'd that be where mad because I took the spot? If you ain't ishin', then get off the pot. Which actually, um, Ice Spice said in um, Butterfly Clue. So she paying homage to Nicki Minaj. Then she said in On the Raider, which was the bonus track, she said, I be fiending to dump on a B. And I know she be bumping my ish. Okay. Remember, Scratch Off pretended like she didn't know um, Ice Spice lyrics. If you guys remember, she did that, I believe, last year. How can I lose if I'm already chose? Chose. She beat me. She beat okay, okay. Then she said, trending topic, like you cannot blame me. Going up, so I feel like they hate me. Oh, she gangsta, she cannot face me. Okay, I think that's another shot at Scratch Off, you know, because she be trying to put on the gangsta persona. She said and put it in the trash that, you know, people like to run their mouth, but she run a fade. Um, but Scratch Off has never been one to beat nobody up. Allegedly, she used to get beat up. So I didn't really understand how she says she knows the type to run a fade. I didn't understand that. But it looks like um, Scratch Off um, has Ice Spice on her neck. Um, She is taking shots. And Scratch Off will probably respond. um, But will her shots land? Let me know in the comments how you feel about Ice EP. Um, And if you feel like she was taking some shots at Scratch Off and Cardi B. Also, Cardi B is being put on blast by fans on social media for allegedly paying for advertising on Neighborhood Talk. So they made a post about Off the Cheat and Cardi B setting trends in hip hop. And um, I guess it was a paid advertising because they deleted it and they didn't put their logo on, you know, that post like they usually do. And um, fans are noticing that Cardi B is paying for good press. That's what fans are saying on social media, that, you know, she is paying for good press and that neighborhood talk is on her payroll. So let me know how you guys feel about it. I'm not really shocked. Um, That's why she don't get along with the shade room and several other blogs is because they don't feed into certain narratives that she tries to push. And then, you know, she's cool with Messi Lee because he pushes that narrative that she's the best and he don't like Nicki Minaj. So she only cool with the blogs that dislike Nicki. And that's why she invited DJs and bloggers to her um, daughter's birthday. Okay, which I already talked about on my podcast, which just means that Cardi B don't have any real friends. Okay, because she's the only celebrity that really does that. Now, moving back on to Scratch Off. Um, she had a collaboration that dropped with Anderson Pack and J Rock from Interscope. Um, and she was throwing some shots back at Ice Bite. She said, first B word sneak this, first block get bent. Big scratch off, not the little one. B words wanna come up, ain't gonna give them one. Okay, so she's saying that Ice Spice wants to come up, trying to use her for clout. She also said that she never did the talking, always been the one they talked about. Then she says she looked like a Barbie, but she's just a brat. 
So let me know how you guys feel about that. I don't feel like those shots were that great. People were saying that she was copying Nicki Minaj. She was trying to sound like Roman. Um, I didn't get that from listening to these bars. It was very weak, in my opinion. Wasn't given Roman. I think she tried to use Nicki's alter ego mannerisms, but it didn't really work, in my opinion. She should try harder next time. Moving on to SZA, um, she previewed some new music on Instagram. Um, I guess this is supposed to be for the deluxe that's supposed to be coming, but she has not given a date. Um, fans have mixed reactions to the snippet. Um, so let's take a listen. So fans are calling out the chart obsessed races um, for voguing at her concert um, and copying Queen B because allegedly Queen B vogues um, and she has Vogue dancers, you know, at the Renaissance tour. And now the chart obsessed races is voguing and fans are calling it out saying that she don't really have no songs to vogue to watch this. I believe people's issue is with, you know, the fact that Taylor doesn't have Vogue in music. Like Queen Bee made a dance album for the gay community. The chart obsessed races didn't. So it's like now they feel like she is being a culture vulture um, or she's just copying Queen Bee. Okay, so let me know how you guys feel about it. Um, I don't feel like, you know, the chart of such races is that original, in my opinion. Um, I feel like nobody wants to call her out on it because, you know, she is topping the charts um, because she has to release like a hundred versions of one song. Um, And then on top of that, you know, because she's, you know, Caucasian, nobody's going to call her out either. Okay. Um, But if, you know, Queen B do something. And, you know, people don't feel like she's original. They call her out on it. But anyway, I got some hot tea on Patreon. Link will be in the description. I will see you guys in the next video and have a great day.